Hello again. Um, this is a tutorial I wanted to do for a long time. Um, it's something that I struggled with myself. I was like, you know, how the hell do I make a JAD file for my phone? Um, not saying that I did, you know, download games, make JAD files, put them on my phone. Just uh, putting that out there. Um, but anyway, um, it's kind of relevant now as I have an Android phone, but back in the day I wanted to create a JAD file for all the .jars you could download. Um, m a lot of them actually don't come with any JAD file. So for a while I was actually developing my own program to do this, um, which I just called it JAD Maker. Um, and it was working for a while, but um, the script that I had built it on um, failed to work with uh, newer versions of Ubuntu and that's obviously because the scripting language bash was upgraded um, so I was looking for more solutions and here's what I found and it works pretty damn nicely um, now the only problem with this is that you're gonna need wine and um, if you don't know what wine is then look it up um, winehq.org I think and um, you'd want to install Wine with a PPA, and if you don't know what a PPA is, it's a personal package archive. Um, but you'd want to look up a separate video for that, because I'm not going to cover that here. So once you add the Wine PPA and install Wine, um, you're basically good to go. And then you'd want to download this kind of JAD wizard, um, and I'll have the link down below so you can go straight to that. And um, once you download, you just extract. Um, I think there's a folder with the source code, but you can ignore it or delete it or whatever. Um, all you want really is the wizard.exe, and um, you're basically good to go. So, what you want to do here is just double click, as long as you have wine installed, it will open. Um, so here we have the JAD wizard. So what you'd want to do is you'd want to place it over on your desktop because like if you try you're supposed to drag and drop it but if you try and drag and drop here you can see that the window will gain focus for here and the JAD wizard will lose it. So you'd want to place it on your desktop over here and the really great thing is um is that all you have to do is just drag and drop your files but not alone that you can drag more than one so we'll say if you've a, a folder full of .jars and you want to get all JAD files for them, um, all you got to do is select them all, and then you drag them over, and you can see the document symbol here will actually change to a plus, which is just an, um, nice to know that you're doing the right thing. And you just leave it drop on that, and uh, instantly you got your JAD files, and they appear in the same directory, so it's really nice. Um, and then when you're done all you have to do is just like one of these old Nokia's you just click this button here to exit and boom there you go and um, you got your JAD files for your games um, I'm not going to tell you whether or not to go get games or whatever but you could use this for um, applications or applications you're working on for your phone or something like that um, as I previously said this is pretty useless for me right now but um, I just hope that someone out there is going to benefit from this. I'm not sure how many videos there are of um, making .jad files on Ubuntu. I had a quick look around, but I couldn't really see anything nice and simple like this. So uh, hopefully you guys will, you know, find it useful. Um, and uh, you know, I'm not saying I did go and get games from a certain website like um, mobilegames.com. But um, that's up to you whether you want to check out sites like that or not. And uh, so I shall leave this here for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this small little tip tutorial, whatever you want to call it. And um, I'll be up with some more hints and tips at a later stage. Alright, that's it for now, folks. See you.